Recently, I was flying over the deserts of Las Vegas reading this book about stuff, and I came across a chapter that was all about glass and how we use glass in our everyday lives and yet how simple it is. It's just silicon dioxide that's rearranged into a different form, or sand rearranged to make glass. And there was a section about a guy who's digging these things called fulgurites out of the Libyan desert. And fulgurites are just tubes of glass that are caused by lightning or electricity. And at the very same time, I had been editing this. This video that I'd made about making glass from sand. Isn't it crazy how things turn out? So we're starting at the end of our story here. But we'll take a jump back in just a minute. Because this is completely insane. Oh, it's still bendable. I can oh, still mold it. Nice. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> so check that out. Quinn made glass. This is still piping hot. Like really, really hot. Look, you can start to see the clear glass underneath that outer layer of sand. Look at that. Isn't that awesome. So hold on a minute. We have to back this thing up. Put that glass away. What in the world is going on here? Well, you see this guy? This is Quinn. Quinn is an electrical genius in my mind. He's one of my former high school science students. And you see that other guy back there? That's me, completely mesmerized by whatever it is that Quinn's got going on in front of me. So he's my electricity guy. Notice I won't touch this and you shouldn't do it either. But what is this contraption in front of him? This is a high voltage microwave transformer. This takes 120 volts out of the wall and turns it into 2000 volts. So all he's done is taken it out and then he put a few magnets on the top and put a steel nail on top of that. And then he's got a lead running over to another nail. You can see it there hooked to a piece of PVC so that it will stay a long ways away from his hand and not well, kill him. So again, don't try this at home. And then of course, this is gonna get plugged directly into the wall. And when it does, it allows the electricity to jump from one nail through the air to the other nail. This is plasma. These are electrons jumping through the air and turning it into a plasma so that the air can conduct electricity. Now don't do this at home. Quinn said, you know, I think we could probably make glass if we run this arc through sand. But you gotta have a really fine grain sand. It just so happened I had a whole bunch of really fine grain play sand right here in the lab. The thing is, I had no idea what was gonna happen. You already know because I showed you at the very beginning, but for me, this was brand new. Quinn's going hot, yep. going live. We're gonna make some glass. What we have here is one end put into a nail uh, and that's put into the sand. And then the other end, I still have this other nail. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch them underneath the sand and create that initial arc. And what I'm gonna do is pull it out like this and that, just like the air making it ionized, is gonna ionize the sand itself and create a big string of glass through here. I've never seen anything like this. Check it out. So the sand is glowing orange. It looks like there's lava under there. Here it comes out. Check this out. This is in thermal. This is in infrared. This shows the heat that's coming off of that piece of glass. And look at all the sand. It's just raining off of there and glowing hot. This is crazy. Isn't that amazing? This is really hot. So yeah, it's cool. really, really hot. Yeah. It's still kind of glowing. Yeah, it's really hot. <laughs> so that's glass made from sand, but this is how they make glass anyway, right? I mean, heat yeah. and silica mm -hmm. of some sort, that is nuts. And by the time we were done, we had built a whole forest of fulgurites in our sand. We just couldn't help ourselves. I mean, this is really cool science. This is watching how something we're so used to, glass, we're watching how it forms. And it wasn't long before I found myself on another plane, thinking about glass, and when I landed, and made it to the beach, I couldn't help myself. I've been beachcombing for over an hour, just trying to find one special thing, and it's maybe not what you're thinking of, not seashells. What I'm looking for is this, right here, glass. Oh, it's 
looks like somebody had a little bonfire last night. Managed to melt some glass, but think about this. We've got all this sand right here. All this sand on the beach in Southern California. And that sand, when it's heated up, will eventually turn into this. It'll turn into glass. And ultimately, if it makes its way back here to the beach, it's gonna break down into little tiny pebbles and become silicon dioxide again. And it's like this beautiful cycle of science and nature. And so the cycle goes on and on. We dig up the sand on the beach, we turn it into glass, and eventually it probably turns right back into sand at some point. If you like what's going on here at Beale Science, hit the subscribe button down there, or click on any of the videos you're seeing on the screen, or come on over to BealeScience.com and visit me. We got lots of good stuff going on, and I'd really like to hear from you. So give me a comment down there in the bottom, and let me know what you think.